Hey guys! So as you can see in the title of this movie, it is March Part 2 for Ipsy. And um, so if you guys haven't seen the first Part 1, it's not labeled Part 1 because I didn't realize it was just going to be Part 1. Um, it's just labeled March. So if you go find the March episode I did a few weeks ago and watch that first, that'd be great. You might actually understand, you would see part of the problem. But, um, so after I got my bag and I did my video and I went online and I, rec like, went to go and rate everything, um, none of the items that I got in my bag were the ones that I was supposed to be receiving and rating online. So I sent Ipsy a little message saying, hey, um, I can't rate the items that I got how do I go about doing this? And they said, okay, what items didn't you get? So they sent me the list of everything I was supposed to get. And, um, I basically was like, I didn't get any of those. I got this. And I sent them a list of everything I got in that bag. And they're like, we're so sorry, which it wasn't that big of a deal to me. You know, I already got makeup, whatever. I just wanted to rate so I could get points so I could possibly do add-ons and things, extra items later. But they said, okay, well, we're going to send you what you were supposed to get anyways. So here it is. Um, I haven't, I, I kind of know what the items are in the bag, so it's not like my normal Ipsy's where I don't look online, I don't see what is coming to me, it's kind of a surprise. I kind of have an idea of what I'm getting. I mean, I don't remember exactly the brands or anything like that. I remember colors and some of the products, but, um, so I'm just going to do the reveal for you. So let's get to it. They did send me the whole bag. There's nothing on the outside. They sent me the bag again, so I have two of these bags. Um, I already gave my rating on this before. It's the same paper. It's the Women's History Month. That was uh, March's theme. And the first item is... <laughs> yes. Okay. So this is a brush. It's kind of... I don't know if you can see. It's clear. But it has like a rose goldish sparkles through it. And then... Yeah. On the front of it that was facing me there's two of these little gems which is really pretty that would be a pretty set to have for the whole thing and it says it's really hard to read it almost looks like it's L S L Miss Glam it's a short short shader say that time fa ugh. say that five times fast can't even talk after saying it but um as I'm saying I'm always needing brushes and I love the color on this this would, like I said would be a really good set to have I love that pink color and especially with the pink um, the rose gold that's going through it is kind of cool I don't know if you can see those and there you go and it's a good thing because I forgot a brush I don't know I know there's a certain product that I'm going to need it for. <laughs> but I would definitely rate that a 5. I might even go look to see if I can get the rest of the set. And so, our second item is... It says Lush Eyeshadow, and it's Poolside. It says Get Soaked. So, I'm not sure. It's by Ivy Ivy Beauty. big box for a little thing. It comes like this. I'm not sure what color it is. I wonder if it matches the outside. It kind of does match the outside color. It's like that purple maroonish. 
Let's use this brand new brush. I do like doing swatches. Um, as you can see, it goes on pretty well. I mean, there is that hue there. It's not, you might have to go over it a few times. Let's just see. Oh yeah, it goes on my eyelid really well. I'm trying to overdo it so you guys can see. I've noticed that with my hooded eyes that you can't see all the time. I kind of messed it up right there. But yeah, it's a really nice color. That's just a shadow. Okay. <laughs> Um, it's a really nice color. I will. You, I do like using colors like this with the um, natural colors. I do like using the little darker reds and maroons. It looks more red on my eye than it actually does here. <laughs> I would definitely give that a... That's a new brand, too, IBY. I haven't dealt with them really much before. And I would definitely give that a 5 as of right now. It goes on really nice. It's not going all over the place as far as like me. I always have to worry about the creases because of my hooded eyes. So it's not creasing. It's not getting stuck in the crease. So that's really good for that type of eyeshadow. So I definitely give that a five. Next item is it's called Estate and it says do me, D-E-W me. It's in Chinese. But it's a baked highlight powder. I love, I've been getting more into the highlights lately. I'm not super good with them, but I've, I don't have a highlight brush with me. But um, I've been getting, it's a pink. It's super light pink, if I can open it. Just putting my finger on. Wow. It's super light pink though. It's not white. It looks white there, but it's like a super light pink. I'm just gonna. And I finally figured out that those like fan <laughs> type um uh, brushes I have are for highlights, but I'm going to just use my finger right now because I don't have one with me. I mean, it gives off a little bit. You can see just a tiny bit, but it's not overbearing. It's not like pow. It's just a little bit right through here. I'd give that maybe a four. Because, I mean, when you want highlight, you want it kind of like to pop more. This is more of like a natural... I mean, I put a lot on, too. And it's not really popping as much as I thought it would. I mean, it would just give that little tiny bit of natural highlight. So that would be like an everyday look kind of thing. But if you're going out, like, out to the bars or clubs or if you're just going out and you want to have that pop... Personally, like I'm, I have to turn this way because that's where the light is, just to see. And it's not, it's just a little bit. It's not too much. So that's like a four. The fourth item is it is Skin Iceland, and I spell skin with a Y. Um, solutions for stressed skin. Limited edition berry lip fix with wintered red algae. This is, I think, the second or third item I've gotten with algae in it. Which I guess is a good thing. I'm not really sure what the benefits of algae is. I'm sure every one is different. It's not coming out. It's great, I'm going to squirt it everywhere. Um, I 
There it goes. Dude, it's super hard to get out. I was expecting red for some reason, because it said very... Takes a lot to push to get it out. Yeah, it's not coming out again. There it goes. I mean, once it gets warm on my lips and stuff, it, it's super smooth, but trying to get it out of here, it wasn't sitting outside in the cold or anything, so I'm not sure why it's so hard to get out. It's like hard when it comes out almost. But this is definitely good after, the, I mean, it's spring now, after the winter, it was really rough on my lips. I'd give that um, a four. Oh, it's kind of like chalky when it gets on your tongue. But yeah, other than that, it's really good. Um, the last item is called Man Eater by Tarte. And I, for some reason, I'm guessing this is a mascara. Yep, Voluptuous Mascara. Tarte Man Eater. I've been getting a lot of Tarte items lately. I actually have been liking them. I used to have crazy natural long lashes. Can you see it now? Can you see the difference? Bam. I actually really like that mascara. And it actually is making um curl even more than what I was trying to do. I gotta rub that one part in. That was driving me nuts. But yeah. You can see the difference. Look at those eyelashes. Yes. I actually will give that a five. I love that. It's not, um, on the first try at least, it's not clumpy. And it goes on pretty good. You barely have to put any on. Sometimes with some of them you have to go like layers. Is that an extra eyelash? Yep. Um, but yeah, that looks pretty good. I love that. Okay. So part two was a lot better than the first one, I would have to say. I think that that other bag um, was not um, personally picked out for me. It might have just been extra items. I'm not sure really what went on there. But I definitely love the second bag more. Um, it's definitely more towards me. I love the colors. I love the items. Everything. I love it. And I will definitely be using it more. So thanks again for um, stopping by and watching. Uh, if you guys haven't already and you'd like to see more, please subscribe. Hit that little button. Um, and if you guys are interested in Ipsy, I will be leaving a link down below underneath, or I think I put it above, the list of items that I have in the bottom there. And also if, um, if you guys haven't heard about Ipsy, Definitely, um, I would definitely check it out because they are really good with their customer service, obviously, and, uh, they have really good items coming out lately. You can also go for the bigger, um, I forget what they call it. It's a bigger bag. I don't go for that. You get full, five full items for $25, where the one that I'm getting usually is about $10 a month. So, yeah. And Ipsy is not a paid sponsor of this, um video or any of my videos they don't pay me to do this i just do this for fun but thanks guys see you next month